Right, we've uh, got some cold weather coming. So here on the east coast we've been uh, cool, but not cold, not freezing cold. For the last week we've, uh, we haven't had any frosts, but that's going to change. I think tonight we're due for minus one, then we're due for minus three, then possibly minus ones for a couple of nights in. Hopefully by next weekend, a bit milder again. So what I've done is wrap stuff up again in the way of fleeces. Um, so basically all the, the big plants that, um, like the palms. So we've got the Washingtonia robusta, um, the bootier, and the other boot, the other side. So they're all wrapped up. Not that they won't take minus three, but just, I just want to keep them looking nice. So that's the plan there. Um, yeah, so I mean, I just spent half an hour just putting fleece bags over stuff. No big deal. After after the cold patch, that will all come off again, no problem. I have modified the uh, protection on the power jabaya, Trillioi. Um I did have a frame with a big fleece bag over it but I noticed that was blowing about a bit and it did damage the leaves slightly so what I've done is I've actually had it open for the last week or so and then now what I've done is I've just uh, had some fleece roll which I've just wrapped around the trunk and then there uh, sort of a uh, just cheap fleece roll around the leaves um, just to protect from the frost and I have got that heat cable in there which um, we've got a coil around the root then we've got sort of spiraling up the trunk and then we've got a about a meter rolled up in the crown just to just to keep it heated so it doesn't freeze and that's uh, again just temporary this time next week that'll all be off and open to the elements again just to what keep anything that is looking good you know, keep it looking good basically um other than that yeah pretty uneventful week we've had uh, cool days but let's say no frosts we are getting above freezing every day this upcoming week but again we are going to get them cold nights and it's only going to be just above just above the freezing mark so we really don't want to uh, um get any damage on some of the, the plants that are still looking nice. Um, so, just used whatever's laying about. This is like an old, well, it's not old, it's new. It's a bike cover, which I never used. So that's just gone over the uh, cord line. There, that is um, cord line Emerald Star. So that's a bit more bit more cold sensitive is it if you like so that's going to be just temporarily covered over we've got the uh, cord line superstar which got the fleece bag over that's tied up and um, the tender palms underneath here and um, we have got as uh, talked about in a previous video we've got the uh, Nico palm underneath that which has got a heat, heat cable on it with the thermostat so that can uh, if it gets above 15 degrees it'll turn off and um, because I've got a fleece bag over it now as well I did have it open that will on the, the frosty nights I'll just keep that frost free in there because uh, we have some stain some damage on that so I want to keep that to a minimum and get you know no more damage so I've just got a bit of uh, poly sheeting to, to cover the the other palm here, which is the uh, Livestona chinensis. Um, that's uh, took minus four already, sort of late last year. And hopefully uh, we won't get any more of that cold. I mean, like I say, we're, we're forecast for the lowest of one night minus three. So I'm hoping we're gonna not get any worse than that.
but yeah I'll just put this bit of poly cover over it just to stop the frost getting to the leaves in there other than that it's a nice sunny day and uh, feels pleasant it's only about four degrees but it is uh, it feels nice in the sun hardly any wind yeah so the last uh, week even though it's been cold at night I think the, the lowest we got is um, 1.4 so it's not not quite a frost nowhere near minus temperatures and this is reading 10 at the moment but that is just been in the sun a bit right so that's just uh, a look round again you know a bit of temporary action for a temporary cold spell um not really any house on this lucky it's fell at the weekend so we've got plenty of time of daylight to uh get to the plants and tend to them because you know a lot of us work during the week and it's a little bit awkward with limited daylight hours to 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 run it you don't want to be doing it at night and you can't really see what you're doing so that's, that's nice to be able to do it and uh get it all done in the daylight and see what you're trampling on as it were um we'll leave it there well, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one